I just want to welcome you all to our info session this evening. I'm delighted that you're all here to discover our new international BA in management and liberal arts. I'm David, I'm from the outreach team here at TAU International, uh, and I'm joined here by the, the programme team. Uh, we have Professor Shai Denziger, uh, we have Louise Hyatt, the programme coordinator, and we have Lee Zanani, who's an actual student here from, from TAU. So I'll take the first couple of minutes, I'll begin with a short clip that will explain our philosophy of Taoism, and then I'll talk for a few minutes about Tel Aviv University before I, I hand over to Louise, who will then go into detail about this wonderful, exciting new program we have. So let's begin. Tel Aviv University International, the only place in the world where you can study Taoism. What is Taoism? Well, it's a local philosophy that says the best way to study is through experience. Understand with your head, learn with your feet. The best way to study a multicultural society is to live in one. Be ready with your elevator pitch. You never know who you'll meet on campus. If you want to learn the best marketing strategies, just go to the local market. Reading about the Startup Nation? Write your own chapter. Study literature in the place that inspired the bestseller of all time. You can't resolve a conflict until you witness one. At TAU, there is always room for more questions and 400 labs to find the answers. Come experience the wisdom of Taoism at Tel Aviv University International, where first-class education meets a second to none lifestyle. So I think Taoism is simply, it's our philosophy that, you know, you study best through experience. You learn with your head, you understand with your feet, and learning happens everywhere. And sometimes, you know, when you least expect it, when you come to Tel Aviv University, you don't just learn in a classroom, you learn on a campus, you learn in the city, you learn in the country, you learn not just, you know, here at the university. And I think that video explains Taoism much better than I can explain it. We filmed that on campus last year in the summer, and a lot of the extras were international students that, that we filmed, um, and they appeared in the video. So let me just jump into a quick snapshot of Tel Aviv University. We're Israel's largest and most comprehensive institution of higher education. We have 30,000 total students, 2,000 plus international students, nine faculties, 125 schools and departments, our students come from all over the world, from 100 plus countries. Typically, we have a large um, cohort of students that come from North America, as well as Latin America, Europe, Asia, Australia, as well also as the international community in, um, here in Tel Aviv and Israel. And we're in Tel Aviv, you know, the largest technology sector in the world, and TAU is very much uh, the innovation hub um, of the startup nation. And you heard in the film 400 labs, 130 research institutions, there's 15,000 international alumni. So I think this just gives you, you know, a TAU at a glance. Um, I won't go into all of them, but, you know, we're very proud of our ranking and our position. We're Israel's largest, as I said, and most comprehensive institution of higher education, the number one choice among Israeli students, top 100 innovation university by Reuters, we're ranked 20th in the world for scientific citations. We are fifth in the world for entrepreneurship in 2020, just after leading institutions such as Stanford, MIT, UC Berkeley, and Harvard. 55% of our population on campus is women. 
And just in May of last year, the university set up its very first Equality and Diversity Commission uh, and headed up by Professor Netta Zeev. They're tasked with enhancing equality and diversity throughout the academic faculty, administrative employees, um, staff and students as well. So as I mentioned, we're a multidisciplinary institution of academic excellence and our impact is, is felt far and wide. You know, we have a vast range of research and teaching fields that create unique and fascinating connections between disciplines that are traditionally not connected to one another. There's 130 research institutions, 400 labs, world-class faculty, renowned professors. Every year, our students perform over 300,000 hours of community service, um, all here on our one campus, just north of downtown Tel Aviv. And also you get to enjoy this wonderful Mediterranean city um, of Tel Aviv, which leads me on to reasons why you'll love Tel Aviv. Let me just play that. Um, if you've been to Tel Aviv, you'll know it's a sunny city, the sun all year round. There's 14 kilometers of beaches. It's an innovative city, global city, capital of Mediterranean cool, a world leading tech hub, diverse, free spirited, very safe city, very safe city. Um, and if you've been here, it's a wonderful city to be. We're filled with internationals here at TAU International. We have staff here from all over the world. Um, and I think that's reflective of, of, of Tel Aviv in general. So as I mentioned, you know, our graduates join, uh, our graduates join an illustrious group of alumni creating impact and legacy across the globe in different areas. I won't go into all of them, but I think this gives you a good snapshot of the level and caliber of our graduates. Professor Amnon Shashua, who co-founded Mobile Eye, that developed um, an algorithm for detecting automobile and pedestrian traffic. We have the very famous chef and author Yotam Otolenghi, Professor Ranit Sachi, who developed a new way to treat uh, and prevent melanoma through a nano vaccine. Uri Levine is the founder of Waze, the GPS system that I don't think, I think everyone in Israel uses to get everywhere. Um, okay. And of course, a lead, as a leading institution, we have very close links to industry. There's remote, the business engagement center, they identify, nurture and transform inventions into products. We have TAU Ventures, which is the academic venture capital fund. We have Ignite by Collar that Lee will talk a bit about and also Louise, which is the entrepreneurship club from the Collar School of Management, as well as world leading conferences and events that happen on campus, such as Cyber Week and Artificial Intelligence Week that are a full week on campus with usually eight to 9,000 attendees from 80 countries. And they really are the go-to events um, in the cyber and AI world. Okay, the student life team, if there's one thing I want you to take away from tonight, um, in addition to the wonderful program and academics, it's our student life team. They are what we call madrachim. And if you know Hebrew, madrich or madrachim is guide. They are all Israeli students, they're all post-army, they're all doing either their first or their second degree uh, at TAU, and they live in the dorms with our students, and they are there, so when you come to us, you literally, you don't come to a quote foreign country, you come and you arrive, and they are there on arrivals day, they welcome you into the dorms, they do orientation, they're available 24-7 for any kind of support that you need, there's always someone on call that you can call. There's always someone in the office every day. They organize, as I said, all the orientation and arrival days and help out in any assistance you may need. They're also very, very active in organizing social and cultural activities and excursions. They'll take you out through, you'll get to explore the whole of Israel from day trips in Tel Aviv, in Jerusalem, overnight trips in the north and the south, they, you'll really get to see and feel the real Israel through the student life team. And this picture on the right hand side is actually from one of the student life trips um, down in Jaffa um, just last year. So they're there to welcome you and you very much join our, our family and you know, you're part of our community here. And I think that's helped very much by the Madrachim and the student life team. 
and that sense of community also extends through to the to the to the dorms. Obviously, we have accommodation literally adjacent to cam uh, to campus. This is our new dorm village, the Proshim dorms. Our, our Madrahim team lives there with students. There's 24-hour security, health insurance. There's a doctor's office there. We try and keep all of the international students together, but at the same time, you're surrounded by Israeli students as well. So you do get the, I think, the best of both worlds. You get to meet other international students. At the same time, you get to mix with Israeli students as well. There's a food court and supermarket. There's a small parade of shops just at the entrance to the, to the student dorms. There's an aroma um, coffee shop. There's a supermarket and a couple of other little stores there as well. We don't offer meal plans, by the way, in any of our dorms. All, they all have kitchens. And I think that also creates, gives you a sense more of community as well, because you can you know, cook with other students as well. And I think it just enhances your experience while you're here. Um, and I think my time is up. So I think I hope I've given you a, a brief overview of TAU and what's waiting for you here. Um, we're here based on campus in the Carter building in the middle of campus and we, our doors are always open to all of our international students um, and we hope to see you in Tel Aviv soon. I'll hand over to Louise um, who will now present our new program, the International BA in Management and Liberal Arts. Thank you. Thank you so much, David, for this wonderful opening. Uh, I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay, so uh, welcome everybody and thank you for taking the time to join us. I'm very happy and excited to have a chance to share with you um, our new program, the International BA in Management and Liberal Arts. Um, I do want to say a quick a few words about what uh, birthed this program before we, uh, we dive into it. Um, and as David has mentioned, uh, Tel Aviv University is about to celebrate its uh, 70th anniversary uh, in a couple of years, celebrating 70 years of academic excellence. And in the past 10 years or so, um, we have become an institution which is, has gained a lot of reputation in producing um, successful entrepreneurs, and not only successful entrepreneurs, but ones who have gone forth to create unicorn companies, uh, which are companies that um, sell and are worth uh, more over a billion dollars. And creating a program like this seemed like the, the next natural step aiming to provide for entrepreneurs, for people who are interested in business, the broadest uh, possible education and the most relevant uh, skill and toolkit that allows them to venture out into this fast paced and, and ever changing if there's anything that COVID taught us is that the changes come very, very quickly. And the world is very demanding. Uh, so equipping our students uh, with what they need to enter this world uh, with a competitive edge and with an advantage was the idea behind this program. Now I, I keep calling it a new program, but I, I have to stress that our program is, is based on a joint venture by two extremely successful uh, already existing programs and, and globally recognized programs. We have the, uh, the color management uh, school, which Shai will tell you about. We also have the liberal arts program. Both have been producing uh, very successful and outstanding businessmen and entrepreneurs for quite a few years. And, and we expect this program, which is a joint venture between the two, to continue producing uh, thinkers and, and leaders. Um, so I want to talk a bit about the, the program highlights. David has mentioned uh, academic excellence. Uh, we're very, very proud uh, throughout our, our 70 years of excellence to be the number one choice, not only for Israelis, but also for, for international students. Um, and, and added to this excellence, uh, we also have um, a, a very unique location for our program. If you take a look at the at the map that we have here and the little icon that says Tel Aviv University, um, and it shows you how close we are located to this um, a micro microsystem, which is very unique to Tel Aviv, of over two thousand startups, less than three kilometers away from our own university. And I think that this closeness, in a sense, where you can hop onto a corkinet and and within ten minutes uh, visit these places and experience the exposure in this unique ecosystem, is something that 
is very special and unique uh, to us. I will also say that um, ours is the only program uh, in Israel currently um, a, providing this unique and versatile curriculum taught entirely in English. And also we pride ourselves on on thinking ahead in, and thinking about our students' uh, career journey from the minute that they, they begin their studies, uh, equipping them with a, a multidisciplinary education, with hands-on experience, with enriched CVs, um, and, and making them, like I said, ready uh, to enter the global business and tech arena um, with tools and with focus and with a competitive um, advantage. Um, our program also offers a lot of uh, different opportunities. Uh, one of them is our student exchange program. And this gives the students a chance, this is usually done during their third year, um, to enjoy uh, the collaborations that Tel Aviv University and also the Collar uh, Management School has with top universities around the world. Uh, together we have over, um, what I think over 100 top universities um, that students get to choose to take a, a semester uh, abroad. Um, and uh, just to give you a few names, we have UCLA, we have Yale um, in the States, we have the Foscari University in Venice, we have the London School of Economics, we have ESADE um, in Madrid. Um, so again, I think this adds both to the experience, experience and, and then to the student CV. Uh, we also give our students a chance to enjoy the different entrepreneurship and business clubs, and also um, to have their own voice and determine the agenda of our own programs, um, innovation and entrepreneurship club. Uh, Lee uh, will tell you a bit more about the Caller Ignite Club. Uh, she has grown to become one of its uh, active uh, managers and leaders. Uh, but we also have the Data Club, uh, which gives students a chance to learn about business developments in data science. It gives them a chance to, to network and, and interact with professionals in the field. Um, like I said, a, a very important uh, part of our agenda in this program is to prepare our students um, for life after graduation. And um, we place it very high up on our priorities to uh, give them a lot of different opportunities for mentoring, for internships. Uh, we have a, a tailored career management course, which is personal for our program. We also have different summer programs. And um, not only do we look forward, but we also look inside and, and we pride ourselves on placing the students at the center uh, of our program. We don't take it lightly that you decide to, to move to Israel for three years and devote your, those three years uh, at a very pivotal moment in your life. And we do our best uh, to give our students um, a different type of academic experience. Uh, we don't only promise experience different, we, we aim to provide it. And, and essentially we want to give our students the, the space to thrive and to develop as, as individuals, to focus on their career insights, on their academic achievements. And, and I think that this is achieved through a few means. One of these is the fact that our, uh, our classroom size is capped at 35. And this gives our students a chance to enjoy both a multicultural and multinational classroom. Currently we have students enrolled from the US, from Italy, uh, from Germany, from France, but at the same time, keeping it a small classroom um, allows our students to be the center, to be seen, to be constantly heard and not, uh, you know, swallowed within a, a big cohort or of 100 or 200 students. We also make sure that our students always have someone to turn to in whichever uh, matter it might be, whether academic, personal. Um, David spoke about our fantastic team of madrichim, of guides, the student life team. Um, myself is the coordinator of the program. I am always approachable. Uh, we also have our academic advisors, which help our students throughout their studies, making sure that they stay on top of the academic requirements, scheduling classes. And we also have the uh, cooperation with the Collar Career Center that gives them career advice advice and, um, and counseling. 
We also make sure that our students grow um, individually, whether it is through extracurricular activities that we offer to them as a group or as individuals, uh, according to their, um, to their interests, whether it's mindfulness or, or coaching. Uh, and we also make sure that our students feel like they have an impact on their academics. Um, uh, we are planning to have a master class, which uh, Shai might tell you a bit more about. Uh, we have our tailored career management courses, and we want to give our students a big voice through the student club, as I mentioned before. And taking a glimpse at the curriculum of the program, um, which just shows a few of the courses. I just wanted to give you a, a, a kind of an idea. Um, and the, essentially our curriculum is taken in parallel in the liberal arts program and in the management program. The first year um, exposes students to fundamentals and in core courses uh, in both of these, in the management courses such as principles of mathematics, organizational behavior. In liberal arts, we have critical theory, the history of ideas. Um, and during the second and the third years, um, students have a bit more freedom uh, in the liberal arts Arts, they get to choose two of the following seven tracks that they would like to focus on. We have psychology, philosophy, literature, Jewish and Israeli studies, Middle Eastern studies, digital culture, and life sciences. In the management uh, section, students focus on business uh, science courses, and they have a choice of different entrepreneurship courses like startup law, value creation, um, etc. And now I'm very, very happy to, to pass the virtual mic um, to Professor uh, Shai Danziger. He's the academic head of our program, but he's also the second to the Dean of International Affairs. And he's also an academic head to another program, uh, which we hope our students uh, will enjoy enough to, to continue to the SOFAR Global MBA program. So um, Shai, take it away. David, uh, does Shai have a a control of the mouse. Can you grant him? Yes, he he should have. He's he a should have. So shy just should be able to shy. It. Hmm, you no. need to stop your your share, Louise. Ah. Did you stop second. yours? Oh no, you're doing it for. Okay. Give mouse control to. Okay. Can you try now, shy? Sorry. Okay. Um. Click to start the mouse keyboard. Let's see. Yeah. 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 Okay. Great. Um, okay, so hi everyone, uh, so nice to see you. Again, thanks for taking the time to consider our program and be here on this webinar. Thanks for David and Louise to like excellent introductions. I have to think uh, what I have left to say above and beyond whatever it is that they said. And maybe for those of you who are not familiar with Israel, I really want to emphasize, um, before I talk about the Kohler School of Management, I want to emphasize some of the key aspects of Israel. Um, first of all, as both David and Louise mentioned, uh, when you come to Tel Aviv, and I hope you come to Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv has both um, a very, very international flavor, but also a very Israeli flavor. And it has a unique combination of really, really good academics at the university, an amazing uh, entrepreneurship and innovation ecosystem. The city is really booming. You can actually see it each year when you fly into Tel Aviv, the number of new high rises that uh, are being built. I mean, we're really, uh, especially for an OECD country, uh, growth here is really amazing. And there's also great nightlife, great restaurants. Of course, we recognize that Tel Aviv is also a relatively expensive city, uh, something to take into account, but you guys can all live in the dorms and you're going to be literally two or three kilometers from a beach beautiful beaches from an amazing park and all that Tel Aviv has to offer in terms of uh, nightlife and um, entertainment um, and the arts, many things like that. Um, our program and we, we, our tagline for our program is experience different. And ever since the inception of this program, uh, what we're thinking about is how are we going to provide you with the most amazing, unique experience that is going to basically transform your lives. That's basically the goal we have. Uh, maybe because we're very, very young and we're just starting the program, we have tons of enthusiasm and tons of willingness to change. 
you have to realize that Israel in terms of a country, and one of the reasons why the startup nation is so successful is that Israel is there to change. They're not scared of change. They embrace change. And that's the way that this program is going to work. And even if today we're telling you one thing, it's possible that a month from now, we're going to tell you something else, but always with the aim of making your experience better. Uh, as Louise mentioned, we're going to be a relatively, uh, most probably at least for the first couple of years, a smaller cohort. And that is going to give each one of you a personalized yet international experience, which is just going to be enhanced when you actually go out to Tel Aviv and you experience both the city and uh, the country of Israel. So now I'm just gonna talk a couple of minutes about uh, the Kohler School of Management. Um, the Kohler School of Management is the largest business school uh, in Israel. We are AACSB accredited. Um, what that means is we actually uphold to certain standards. Uh, we have by far the largest network of alumni uh, in Israel. Many of them who are in the central positions as David showed you in both uh, the, in any type of scene in Israel, whether it's in the startup scene, whether it's in the financial sector, marketing sector, politics, whatever it is, we have it. Um, why study management science? First of all, management science is something that can be applied to all aspects of life. Uh, we are going to give you the tools to either work in a company or potentially uh, open your own company if that's where you want to be. Uh, our curriculum combines both soft and hard skills. You're going to learn how to interact with people, work in teams, and solve, and solve multiple tasks simultaneously. Uh, we're going to give you expertise in creative problem solving, leadership, data analysis. It's important to realize that Tel Aviv, uh, that your curriculum is really going to mirror the curriculum uh, of our Hebrew speaking program. And in that program, there's a lot of emphasis on um, really, really both quantitative and qualitative skills in management. Um, why study at Kohler? As uh, both uh, David and Louise mentioned, we're going, you're going to have a multicultural classroom experience. Tel Aviv is booming. Uh, the city is like changing every day. We have world-class faculty. You're going to get hands-on managerial. I don't know why that moved. Oh, sorry. No, sorry. <laughs> oh, you did it? Okay. Yeah, it was my me. Sorry. Yeah. I oh. just admitted someone who was late. I apologize. Oh, but how do I move back? Hmm. Okay, here, move back. Apologies. I mentioned ACSB accredited. You're going to get a dual major in three years. We have a lot of study abroad possibilities for those of you who in third year are going to want to go to other countries. Uh, networking, and for those of you who excel in your studies, will allow you during the third year to already start accumulating courses um, in the MBA program. Okay, so if those of you who are going to want to continue to either doing an MBA or an MSc, we're going to give you that possibility. Um, this faculty has about, we have about 60 full-time faculty members uh, in all of the major disciplines in management. Uh, I'm in the marketing group. I'm a consumer behavior researcher. Here you see several other faculty. Um, Gal, who is in uh, management information systems. Nissan, who is a professor of finance. Ayala Rad, who is a professor of behavioral economics, and she's in um, the economics group. And there are many more faculty, and these are the people who are going to be teaching you. Um, in terms of alumni, again, and this is just adding to what David said, there are many, many, many alumni uh, who are in all kinds of positions uh, in at least the Israeli ecosystem, and many people who are also uh, working abroad. We recognize the fact that many of you are maybe not going to stay in Israel after you complete your degree, and therefore we're going to do everything in our power to enhance your CV so that you're going to be very marketable in, a, in, in your home market whether it's going to be through an internship, whether it's going to be through our career courses, whether it's going to be through many other experiences that you're going to have. And again, uh, for those of you who have not lived in Israel and who are not familiar with Israel, Israel is a very, very special country. Uh, when you come to the university, even though you're going to be part of the university, at the same time, it's going to be very easy for you to interact with anyone, anywhere. Israel is a very non-formal culture, exactly like in the movie where you saw the lady going up and she was with the CEO of Luminous 
in the elevator and she started talking to her, those things actually happen and they happen all the time. You call, you getting in touch with the CEO is usually a phone call. It's not as if you have to talk to multiple secretaries or I don't know what. Israel is a place for people who want to make an impact. If you want to make an impact, you're a person who wants to impact your environment, this is the place for you to be. Um, I think that, uh, is this mine still? No, no, it's me. <laughs> okay, so I really, I wish you guys all the best. Uh, we're going to be here afterwards for questions. And just know that we are trying to really, we are going to, um, we're going to live up to our promise of experience difference. And it actually means a lot. And we're constantly thinking about how are we going to make this the best program anywhere? Okay, that's, that's what we're shooting for. So <laughs> thanks for listening and hope you come. Thank you so much, Shai. And I, I mean, even though this was my slide, I think you, you did a better job than me at, at, at pitching it. So I'm just going to, you know, I, I'm, I just want to reiterate what, uh, what Shai said, that if there's anything that you, uh, that you take from this program um, is the fact that we are a, placing our students at the center and we are constantly looking at your academic journey, but, but also at preparing you best to, to enter uh, the, the very fast paced and changing world in, in whichever kind of, uh, of career goal you, uh, you see for yourself. Like Shai said, whether it is to become a manager, whether it is to start your own company. And, and one of these tools is, is again, giving you this very uh, enriched CV, whether through the curriculum of our program, whether through the different opportunities and, and hoping that you will manage to stay ahead of this shift that we're also seeing. I don't know if, if any of you have encountered this also in the media where really heads of, uh, of, of companies and capitals keep uh, mentioning this trend of, of looking for people that don't only have a managerial background, but also have a broader, a broader education, which we also aim to equip our students with. Um, this again, um, I will not uh, talk about the slides since uh, David so well spoke about the different connections that the Tao has, but also um, like Shai said, you know, putting our connections aside to the Aviv and Israel is such a um, direct culture that by, by mere vicinity, uh, you get to experience this very unique ecosystem. Um, I will say some of you uh, who have uh, placed your questions have asked about our tuition and our application requirements. I, I will go over them uh, a bit. Uh, I will say that they all appear on our website and uh, in the following slide, you'll see my email and you're more than welcome to contact me with uh, whichever other questions uh, you have if they remain unanswered, um, also after our Q&A. Um, I will say that the applications uh, include a final high school transcript, an essay, uh, two letters of recommendation, an English proficiency test, and an SAT or ACT score. Now, these last two requirements vary um, according, again, to, to the location where you come from, um, American students students are exempt from the English proficiency requirements. Students that have an IB, an international baccalaureate, are, uh, can be exempt from an SAT requirement. So if you would like to specifically mention um, your situation, your high school diploma, um, when we do our Q&A following this, you're more than welcome, but you're also welcome to contact me and, and I will be happy to discuss the specific requ requirements that apply to you. Um, the tuition for our program, our yearly tuition is $17,000, and this includes academic fees, um, it includes health insurance, it includes academic and cultural excursions and activities throughout the year, whether through our student life team or through um, our own uh, private programs, uh, different activities. Um, on the same token of our program's requirements, I will say that we have a very large variety of scholarships and financial aids available. They're also available on our website. Um, if you would like to personally ask in our Q&A or again, contact me and I will help you uh, through this uh, map of, of different uh, financial aids, uh, you are more than welcome to do so. 
Um, so before we move on to hear wonderful Lee, who will tell you both about her experience as a student. She's also a working student. I don't know where she finds the time to do everything. She's also an active manager um, in the Ignite Club. Um, if you follow this QR code, it will land you on our webpage and you're also um, encouraged to keep uh, my contact details, my email. Um, I will also write it on our chat uh, in a few minutes. And I'm going to hand it over to, to Wonderful Lee. Uh, so she's a student in the International Liberal Arts Program. She's majoring in philosophy and minoring in entrepreneurship. She also works as a student and she's, like I said already before, very active manager in the Ignite Club. So uh, take it away. Lee. All right, thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm happy to be here. Um, so as Louise really said, I am in uh, the program where I, I, I focus on liberal arts and philosophy and have a touch of the entrepreneurial side of the program, which is kind of the two worlds that this new program is, is bringing to the table. Important to note that, uh, you know, we don't have the access to courses under the Faculty of Management and all those really more in-depth courses. So I think that's that's a great addition to, to the liberal arts side. Um, as Louise mentioned, you know, I am an Israeli, I work, I have been working before starting this degree, but I did see um, the importance of uh, joining a program uh, and not just continuing in Israel. As, as was said here before, it's very um, not really formal. Um, I could have continued in that past, but I saw you know, this uh, program as a great opportunity to stop to educate myself, um, to actually study. You know, uh, I was interested in, in philosophy, but how many of us actually sit down and take a philosophy book and, and start reading? Um, not only do, is it hard, but uh, the guidance of, of the professors is really, really necessary. Um, so I would just, in a word, say about the kind of the combinations of these two worlds of entrepreneurship and, uh, and uh, philosophy, that I really feel like it uh, helps me in my professional life as well. Um, so feeding my mind helps me then um, take it to uh, my career, whether it's uh, in discussing with executives and finding uh, a common language, whether it is really um, creating uh, and, and studying other people's arguments and philosophy, um, that is really a core uh, capability for then pursuing your entrepreneurial career or a business career, being able to create your own arguments to make them really precise and exact. So I would think that. Uh, something to keep in mind, a really great tool uh, that you practice while studying liberal arts. In my case, it's philosophy, but it could be psychology or, or uh, literature, or any other of the other tracks that are offered. Um, a few kind of uh, words on the entrepreneurial uh, courses that Louise mentioned earlier um, that I found great value in. So I'm currently a product manager at a startup company, but studying now I, I study courses on, on VCs venture capital is something that is so integral to the startup ecosystem that I wasn't really uh, aware of being in a startup ecosystem before coming to, to this program. Um, same goes for startup law. It's a course I'm taking right now, which is extremely interesting and uh, very important for anyone who wants to start their own startup and understand how those how those interactions work and what is necessary for a founder to know. Very, very practical tips. Um, and uh, what else kind of maybe about Ignite, I would say a few words as well. Um, Ignite is, is kind of a great opportunity that I was uh, exposed to this year. Um, this year, we went back to full, full on in-person uh, meetups. Um, and Ignite really is a student lens on our entrepreneurship club, um, which uh, has throughout the, the year, the academic year, uh, monthly events, meetups with industry uh, leaders, with innovators, with uh, CEOs, venture capitalists from the industry, uh, which come uh, either on campus or off campus and educate uh, the students and alumni of TAU. Um, uh, that, for example, of being a part of the managing team of Ignite, I get to reach out to these founders, to these leaders and invite them to, uh, to partake in Ignite's activities, which creates a networking uh, opportunity for me as a manager in the club, which by the way, anyone can become a manager as long as you're willing and wanna put the effort in. Um, that is something that's important to mention. 
Um, and really, I can hop on a call every every day if I if I want to reach out to a CEO and invite them on uh, campus for uh, any lecture or workshop that we would like them to um, to uh, kind of give to to the students. Um, and maybe I would say sh shortly for those of you who who have never been to Tel Aviv or never been to campus. Uh, campus is, uh, you can saw a little bit from the video, but it's just like a, a green, green oasis in the middle of the city. And uh, now today weather was amazing. So it was so fun uh, uh, to walk around campus, study on campus, sit on the grass. Really, um, I'm not sure where you guys are from, but it, it has a, a great advantage um, in that sense. Um, and just great, great uh, vibes. Okay. Um, okay, guys, anybody else? Those were some very good questions. Jonathan, um, I think you should come again next year and then ask me about the acceptance rate. But from a perspective of a student, I'll be happy to, to answer you as part of the accepted. Um, okay. Well. So I, I think we can wrap it up. Um, yep. Yeah. I yeah. think so. We're just, I think we're pretty much bang on schedule. Mm -hmm. um, a few minutes to go. So, but if no one's got any more questions, then um, thank you all for coming. It was a delight. And we hope to see you here in Tel Aviv in October. Hope yeah. to see you guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thank Bye, you everyone. for joining, everybody. Thank you Bye. so much. Bye.